Emergency alert. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. What's going on, guys? Make it electric. It is Sunday, the 14th of January, 2018. Boy, I bet you can guess why you're seeing my face. This is an Operation Blackjack warning. I call complete bullshit on this crap that happened in Hawaii yesterday. The, uh, the governor's talking about it was shift change and somebody hit the wrong button. No. These kind of mistakes do not get made. Let's go over some of this. i got a ton of stuff to give you. 38 minutes. Now, they're saying it takes approximately 20 minutes for a North Korean missile to hit Hawaii. Yet, it took them 38 minutes elapsed between Hawaii missile alert and false alarm announcement. This announcement went out to everybody in Hawaii. It went out to everyone's cell phone. Certainly the same cell phones that the people at the Emergency Operations Center have. So, they would have known instantly that this message was out. Why does it take them 38 minutes? to cancel this. This is a psychological operation on the people to prepare them for what is to come. Because next time a warning goes out, people aren't going to take it seriously. I got a ton of stuff to give you here. Check this out. Video from Hawaii shows children being placed in the storm drain after false alerts sent out. Put a link to that. They got a video on Twitter. We got US, uh, ABC News, U.S. closer to nuclear war with North Korea than ever before, former Joint Chiefs head. Now this was December 31st. I've been meaning to make an Operation Blackjack video, but I didn't quite have enough links. I think we got enough now. They are psychologically preparing us, as they have been for years. Rest assured that when nuclear weapons go off in America, North Korea will have very little, if anything, to do with it. It will be an inside job, but I digress. Let's go on. Express puts this out. North Korea shot claim Kim Jong-un can deliver nuclear strike on U.S. cities this January 13, 2018. Meanwhile, did you see this? The CDC will start preparing Americans for nuclear war. Zero hedge. If you don't like that source, Google it. It's all over the place. The CDC is apparently uh, worried about radiation poisoning. The Sun puts this out. Mine is bigger than yours. This all comes as this rhetoric keeps going back and forth between America and North Korea as it has been for years. But, you know, all of a sudden there's going to be the Olympics and everybody's going to roll around in the flowers. I doubt it. Mine is bigger than yours. Donald Trump brings his nuke button, brags his nuke button is bigger and more powerful than Kim. So it's like, you know, it's, excuse the language, but what did, uh, what did uh, George Carlin call it? A big prick-waving dick fight. That's what it is. So we got the Los Angeles time. Now, as I've said before, it, it was put out in Operation Blackjack and Jericho that after the nukes went off in America, the official story was, well, the last administration was just so grossly incompetent. My God, do we have that with this shithole story. Now, Trump is denying that he said this stuff. Other people are saying he said it. I don't, you know, whatever. I was, it's a private meeting. I wasn't in a room. I don't know what was said. But they certainly have laid the groundwork for, you know, the next government who comes in after the nuclear false flag that is Jericho Operation Blackjack. By the way, those links are at the bottom if you don't know what I'm talking about. They have the groundwork in place to prove to prove how incompetent the last administration was look this is why america got new look what was going on you remember donald trump and the and, and, and the absurdity of the trump presidency i'll put a link to this in fact if you haven't seen this check it out that donald trump has turned the oval office into a shithole into a morally bankrupt place where there are lies and division and racism that comes out every single day. That cannot be normalized by the Republicans. I applaud Ileana ross Layton and Carlos Corbello and Nia Love and the all the people Office in the Republican shithole. Party who are refusing to look the other way and normalize this appalling behavior by this man who today Ooh. occupies the White House. And let me just tell you this. I am probably a few miles away from Little Haiti. I assure you that if the Miami Herald goes tomorrow to the Doral Country Club owned by Donald Trump, they're going to find a lot of people from shithole countries working for minimum wage. Listen to how they're talking on the mainstream media. This is so absurd. You know, if, if, if you were talking like that on the media back in the 80s, the FCC would have instantly banned you from the airwaves. But now CNN has this thing where they say the word shithole 5,000 times in a day. Based upon a story by somebody who was in the meeting, the president denied, I guess it's just who you want to believe, but... Like I said, it's the framework. It's just the framework for proving his incompetence on the other side. We got breaking news. UN calls Trump a racist for shithole comments, remark human rights spokesman attacks President Trump, uh, dismissing entire countries. The UN, you got, you got 
you got Haiti talking about the United States needs to come before our government and, 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 and clarify this shit. I mean, this is just insanity, people. Trump impeachment. You know, do you think there'd be a revolution in America if Trump was impeached? In my opinion, it'll never happen because I believe blackjack's going to happen first. But you got impeachment talk going on. You got Donald Trump. Look at this. Trump could destroy the entire human species, says Yale psychologist who warned Congress members. Now, this came out on the 6th. He can destroy the entire human species. It's, like I said, I'm not pointing the finger at Trump. I personally like a lot of stuff he's done, but I believe he's playing his part. I believe this is all groundwork to prove to the people on the other side of Jericho how incompetent and, and, and outlandish and absurd the government was, and that's why this attack happened. This is the perfect scenario, is it not? Washington Post, will the government shut down next week? Now, amongst all this other madness, we got another government shutdown coming, you know, because the last time in December they kicked the can a couple more weeks down the road. And as we've all been saying for years, this is unsustainable. We can't keep this going forever. Now you have the whole shithole tobacco, the whole world's inflamed. Will government officials work with Trump on a budget? Or are they going to set off blackjack to blow it all out? Because look at this. Let me remind you of something Ron Paul recently said. This is from January 4th, 2018. U.S. is about to meet sudden cataclysmic end, says Republican Senator in shock claim. He's talking about the economy. We've been saying it for years. Go look at the U.S. debt clock. Unsustainable. At some point, it comes apart. In my opinion, this whole Hawaii bullshit is a psychological operation to prepare the people's subconscious mind for when this crap happens. Please tell me your thoughts. Please rate this video. Please pass it around. Make people aware. I believe Blackjack can go down at any moment. And as I said, those links are at the bottom. For people who have not reviewed that, review it. Be aware. Inform yourself. Because if something happens, it's my opinion, it won't be 100% a false flag. But they have the stage perfectly set on who all they're going to blame for it. Do they not? Now, I put this alert out yesterday on my Facebook, Twitter feed, Gab feed, and now YouTube has a new community feed. I put all those links at the bottom. If you want instant news from me when stuff breaks, follow me on one of those platforms. It takes some time for me to put together a video, so anything breaking will definitely go out on my feeds first. That's all I got. You guys tell me your thoughts. Remain vigilant. This crap could go down at any moment. In my opinion, what happened in Hawaii? No. Mistakes like that are not made. Period. Till the next one, you guys. Take care. Stay safe. Remain vigilant. I'll see you on the next one.